Denise, Texas, we had quite the Saturday scorcher on our hands, and tomorrow will be a sweltering Sunday. The story of our forecast for tonight is the heat. We have it in our region. It's not going anywhere as we finish off this month. Right now, temperatures are currently in the lower 80s. We do have some mid-80s hanging on in areas here like Tyler, Smith County. If not the 80s, we're in the upper 70s. Overnight, we will drop down into the mid-70s under clear skies. Pretty quiet tonight, uh, but quite warm and humid. We have that air coming in from the southwest and sun comes up tomorrow around 6.30 a.m. And once that sun comes up, it will get to work on heating us up. We will be into our heat index values. This is the feels like temperature 3 p.m. tomorrow in the triple digits across some regions. So although the actual air temperature is not going to be in triple digits, it's going to rise into the mid 90s, upper 90s and other spots. And then the feels like temperatures will be in the lower hundreds. And it just continues as we go into the rest of the week. So heat advisor criteria. What do we need? What temperature do we need to feel like to issue a criteria by the National Weather Service? Well, we, in our area, most areas, 105 is what we're looking at. So here's our counties right down here. I have them highlighted there. So you see that red color. 105 has to be our heat advisory temperature in order to uh, have an advisory issued by the National Weather Service. And that we have for tomorrow, mainly for our counties above I-20, but everybody should take this heat seriously. Start high hydrating now and early tomorrow morning so your body can kind of catch up and acclimate uh, the best that it can. We have this upper air pattern, this area high pressure, very broad that will be with us for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So basically for the rest of the week, that will keep us mostly dry, but it will also just keep that heat pumping in. So a couple of tips for you. When you're standing outside, if you look down and you see your shadow and it's shorter than you are, that means that you should seek shade. That means that the UV index is very high. You can get sunburn in as little as 15 minutes or less. Also, you should apply that SPF 30 or above pretty often, especially if you're in the water. And of course, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. This forecast brought to you by Baylor Scott & White. You see plenty of 90s in the next couple of days. We do have a few opportunities for rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings. All right, Colleen, looks like some warm.